that door closing, it's hard to find the key to unlock it when it's too dark. Very hard. You know, I really? lost my, my sister, nothing like your daughter, but I lost my sister, hun, and my grandfather the same week, bro. Yeah. And, that, man. and me, who I consider myself a tough guy, I'm not going to lie to you, I went into depression for two years. I had a therapist. I would go every week. And bro, I couldn't snap out this bitch, man. Like oh. I just, it was just the sunniest day was was dark. You know, if people like came to me rain, smelling bro. good, I'd be mad at them that they smelt good. Oh. Like, and exactly what you said. People noticed Joe wasn't the same Joe, and they were trying to take advantage of me and, and trying to like test me. Because they was like, yo, he ain't there. He's over. He mentally, he ain't there. So I know everything you explaining, not on your level, because a daughter is something completely different. Like, you know, for any man who has a daughter, you know, that, that, that's something completely different. And I say it all the time, right? To come from where we come from, me being broke, me being in the projects, me having no hope, um, I know God ain't put me on here just to rap. Well, you know what I'm saying? So it's got to be a reason why. You know what I mean? And every time we try to help out and do whatever we do and, and bring positive energy, this show is all about the light. This show is all about turning the negative to a positive. Definitely. If it's going to be negative and all that, I don't want it. it. It ain't for me. It ain't for my people who tune in. It's all about seeing somebody who's going through a tough time or went through a tough time and, and, and found their way out of it to inspire the people that's listening to you. Because there's a lot of people, this world's full of a lot of bad shit. There's a lot of people going through shit. Might not be the same thing, but they need to hear this Word. in order to get ahead and push past. So I commend you for talking about that. You know, I wasn't going there, but I see you talked about it. Um. Music, you dropped a new project. Yeah, the butterfly. Why is it called Butterfly Effect? Mm -hmm. Oh, why is it called Butterfly Effect? Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, always misconcept that. They always, uh, a lot of people thought I did that for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because the, uh, because of the butterfly. And at the time when she passed, you know, we was posting the butterflies for her. But, um, the butterfly is because she. The reason why we was posting the butterflies is because she loved butterflies. That was her thing. You know what I'm saying? She loved butterflies. Now, the actual meaning for the butterfly effect, it, it comes from the movie. If you've ever seen the butterfly effect, the movie, um, you'll understand that everything that happened in that movie was happening for a, re uh, for a reason. The time sequence. Everything that happens, even past, present, or future, is all, is all meant to happen. You know what I'm saying? And right. basically, I kind of gave, like, I kind of gave my story... You know what I mean? I kind of got personal in it. And I never, I never did like a personal, a personal record before. You feel me? So when I did the butterfly effect, you know what I mean? It was, it was to, it was to show people like, all right, this kind of way he been going through the last couple years. Like this, why he was quiet. This was, this was this. All right, this is the real Fetty Wap. Not the, not the hey, hey, what's up, hello. You know what I mean? That's not the Fetty Wap. Like the Fetty Wap that everybody don't know is like, I gave it to him throughout the butterfly effect. You know what I mean? Like. And, and I gave my heart and soul into it. And the 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 intro, it's been seven years, it's been seven years, a long seven years. You know what I mean? I used to wonder why I'm here and now everybody made it clear. You know what I mean? It's all in the it's all in the music. You know what I'm saying? And everything happened for a reason. Everything that happened in my life led me to make this album. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have this pain before my before my daughter passed. I never had this pain before my brother passed. I ain't had none of this pain before. You know what I mean? Like this is I wasn't even able to make a good song anymore because I was so caught up on how they did me wrong with the labels and how, you know what I mean, with, with, with how I felt about, about my the old my old manager and how I felt like he didn't try to do his best to, to get me where I needed to be or if he didn't know what to do, he didn't sign off to somebody else that could have got me there, you know what I mean? Like, so everything that happened to me, it was like, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of it, but I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? I'm not a dude that's gonna pull my heart out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's how we came up with the butterfly effect, bro. That's that's the meaning of the butterfly effect. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in uh, 
second chances. I'm a firm believer that uh, people could come back. I'm a firm believer, you know, I turned 40 years old, man. They, 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 they locked me up, man. They took all my money, man. And so, so imagine you, you rich for 15 years, you peek at your bank account, UCMs, and then one day you look, ain't shit in there, right? And you this big superstar. Everybody looking at you like, yo, that's the dawn. i never forget while I was going through that, I shot a video with Future, and he asked me to pay for a bunch of shit, and he was popping, and there's nothing wrong with him. And then he told me on the phone, he was like, yo, you the dawn. And I didn't want to tell him, yo, I ain't really got it like that right now. Right? No. But he grew up his whole life hearing Fat Joe's the dawn, and Fat Joe got it. But I did it, I paid for everything. And, I, and I, it's no disrespect, thank God we worked together. Um. But, uh, and so I get it. I, I was in a dark place and I just had to figure it out, but I knew I would get it, you know, and God blessed me and I came back and when he gave me this new opportunity, right? So if you do, I hope you don't, but if you do have to sit down, take that time because when we out here, we move it. You know how much I slept yesterday? Two hours. I've been doing this shit 27 years. Literally two fucking hours yesterday. So now, but when you went, if you ever in that situation, you sitting down and you think and you young, plot your shit out and say, listen, this is what I'm going to do when I, when I do this and this and that, I'm going to put one out the park. I'm going to go get, I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Right? So just, Really plot your shit out. And I believe in you and I know you could do it because what you did and what you've been able to do is it, 10 million records, uh, everything you dropped was platinum. How are they receiving the new butterfly effect? Or do you feel like the people are supporting? Enough people know about it? Um, Honestly, man, I, I really kind of, the fans promoted it for me, bro. Like <laughs> everything, everything. I mean, as far as, let me put it like this. It's not, it's not, it's not a hundred million in a day. You know what I mean? It's not, it wasn't a million in a week, but every song now is, we got a hundred views on this. I mean, a million views on this. It's a million views on this. And it's a million views on this. So, and it's all from the fans, bro. It ain't nobody really posting my, like no, no, no other celebrities really posting my shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it was all fan love, bro. Off just, just strictly love, bro. Genuine love because they wanted to hear Fetty Wap. You know what I'm saying? And and I go outside in the same way how I used to hear um you hear drive past the cars. Um I'm like, yeah, she's fine. You hear the cars coming through. And I'm telling her true. Telling her I'm like, oh yeah. Like, all right, I'll hear you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not like I used to drop albums and go stand on Florida Road in the Bronx just to hear cars come by playing my shit. Word up and feel like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Starting from nothing and get and getting that music going. But let me tell you something. Everybody love you. Everybody love each other. But this is really, really, uh, you gotta do it by yourself. If we're waiting for somebody to help us, they took all my money, even though I wouldn't take it. There's people in this industry, rappers, I saved their lives. They would not be living if it wasn't for Joe Crack. You think one of them called me and told me, yo, Joe, can I help you? Could I this and this and that? Yeah, no. It's no. so only one rapper who offered the help and I didn't take it and it was Pitbull out of all people. Like, brother, I love you. You need anything? I'm like, nah, I'm good. But these guys, I saved their lives. Like, literally saved their lives, right? All these guys. And so don't feel bad because that's the game. Oh, yeah, right? I don't. I don't. Just, I, never, I never expect nobody to. One thing I learned growing up is no matter how much love and loyalty you put out, everybody not like you. Nobody ooh. gonna ever be you. No matter what you big, do for big anybody, words. nobody ever gonna be you. Like you can't expect you from somebody else because you was built and born different. 
I don't care if we was born on the same day, the same hospital, at the same time, we still gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I never expected nobody to be like me. The only thing I expected was the people that was the closest around me to stand tall for me, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like instead of instead of disrespecting my music, you know what I mean? Or saying my music not this and it's not that. And you supposed to be and you one of the people that I gave the first million dollars to. You know what I'm saying? When 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 Leo Cohen brought in these two base checks, and one said five hundred thousand, the other one said five hundred thousand. I handed those shits off. You know what I mean, before before I brought my mother a crib, before I got my before I moved my mother out the hood, I gave you the first million. You feel me? Mm. And I get I, my payback is to get disrespect though. This album ain't shit. This album whack and la da 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 like that's crazy to me. You feel me? So. It was like more so, it, it was like a, a, another pill I had to swallow, like, all right, now. See, but I can tell you something. In the middle. And I'm gonna tell you some real shit because you really opened up your heart today. In the middle of me going through my tax problems, right? And me having to give back millions of dollars to lawyers, to forensic accountants, to the government, to the, like, they just like, oh my God, they was just like, you know, a million years, 600,000 years, seven, like it was a, a free for all, right? Mm. Um, I found, if not my best friend, or the one person I trusted more than anybody in my own family blood, stealing my money, bro. Mm. Stealing my money, bro. And so I've been shot, I've been stabbed, uh, I done been rich, been bro, anything the fuck you could say. But this guy, I would have jumped off the roof for this guy. Like, off the fucking roof. Like, risk my bro. whole life. Like, what? Well, I promise you. And I've been able to handle anything. And when it was proven to me that this guy stole from me, I went in like convulsions. Like, you, you know that shit like you see in the movies? Mm -hmm. With somebody shake like this and shake, and I just start shaking. And and I, I just couldn't take it. And all I was screaming, looking at the guy, was like, why? 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 Because now you have no hope for nobody. You Hold cannot up. believe or trust nobody. If DTA, this guy bro. you would die for, would DTA. do this to you, anybody would do it. And so you know what I learned? Because I'm giving you the lesson. Yeah. I learned God had blessings for me coming. But he said, we got to expose this guy because I'm not going to give you the blessings. And then this guy take all the money again. It's time for him to get out of here and for you to make your money. And, you know, it makes no sense making money and going hard putting it in your pocket and you got a hole in the bottom of your pocket. Word up. <laughs> so the best defense is tightening up. Make sure nobody can run for you. You got people watching, people watching, people watching, people watching, people. Make sure... I can't hear you, bro. Oh, you I, can't hear me? I can hear you now. All right. You start seeing... Uh, you making more money than ever. Cause now you tighten your shit. Everybody ain't in your pocket. Everybody ain't stealing from you. And now you're, you're you might even be making less money, but you put more money in your pocket. Well up. Because these people ain't able to steal from you. And so and, and, and that's the lesson. That's the lesson in this is when you when that happens to you. If you ain't dead, God put something in front of you to show you a lesson so you can move over and use that knowledge in the future. Uh, it happened to me. I appreciate that, you were on everything. Now, That's you said perfect. the right shit, and I never told that story before. But, you know, you came on here, you talked that real shit. I knew it was going to be real. When Fetty Wap came on here, I knew it, it's nothing else to be but real. Word up. You've had a tough time. And you're still having a tough time. You understand? So Ooh. with all the success and everything that's thrown at you, 
You know, I'm just here to tell you that this time it's going to pass. And you're going to be good for life, bro. Not for now. Not for 10 years. Not for 20 years. You did it already. You're going to be good for life. Now, the lesson is in, all right, work it up. Do what you got to do. Go work. Do your shows. Do your this. Do, do your that. You know, some people get used to living a certain lifestyle, right, to where they feel like, yo, I got to make this kind of money, and that's where temptation and bad things happen. Mm -hmm. So always remember, yo, let me stick to the script. The script is we're not doing nothing wrong. We're getting this how we're getting this. God blessed us with this. Maybe I got to work harder. You know, when I caught the tax problem, motherfuckers just playing me, bro. Playing me. Motherfuckers who used to pay me 50, 75,000 a show, they knew I had a tax problem, and they start saying, yo, I only got 12,000. I only got 15,000, because they knew this guy needs the money. Right? right? And so I couldn't be like, yo, I ain't doing it for less than 75,000. I couldn't play that game with them no more, because they knew he needs it. But did I cry? I went and did four shows to make what I made one show. And, and bro, yes. you name a fucking spot, I was there. Uh -huh. Africa, Yugoslavia, Asia, this. Like, I went to places motherfuckers never even seen before. You understand what I'm saying? But I was coming yeah. back home looking good. And some people, you're right, don't want to see us looking good. I never let them see me down. Never. Never let them see me down. Always kept the flyers, jewels on. Shout out Christine Jewelers. Always kept 5,001. My brother 5,001 guy, he told me, yo, Joe, I know you're getting back on your feet. Let me give you free clothes till you got it. These are guys I spent millions of dollars with when I was rocking. Came to me and said, yo, I got you. You're going to always look fly. Fuck that. We ain't letting Fat Joe look like he fell off. Fuck that. I understand. And that's why I'm forever loyal to these people. Right? So you gotta, you, we can't just point our fingers at the bad guys. We gotta look at the ones that will really do anything for us and bend over backwards. Well, so, everybody, Brother, everybody that know me, though, like, anybody that know me, that been around me, that been around my energy, they know my loyalty stronger than anything I got. My word and my loyalty, like, that's the only thing a man can stand on. You, you lose everything, all you got is your word. Your loyalty, loyalty is limited, like, Loyalty is limited. That 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 clock is getting shorter and shorter every decade. <laughs> every decade, every new, every new uh trend, every new the cup the the cloth just gets shorter and shorter, and it's hard to it's hard to get knitted again. You understand what I'm saying? Like all I got is my my word, my love, and my loyalty. I I, I feel personally like I'm one of the most loyal people anybody will meet. Like once you got me on your side, you got me forever. Like. Forever, I'm riding with you forever, boy. Whatever it is, if I got if I got five hundred thousand left and you need five hundred thousand, I'm gonna give you that. Go ahead, get that. Get yourself together. Get focused. Get get back right. Make sure make sure you focus, cause I know when I need you, I got you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know when I need you, you got me, cause I, I already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes, like I I had made a post and I was like. Loyalty could be a good thing or a bad thing, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Listen, go ahead, keep talking, keep and talking, because I was going to tell you something, but they say I talk too much shit. So I was, I'm going to let you finish. Why could loyalty be a good and a bad thing? Why you say that? Like, loyalty could lead, loyalty in a good way could lead you to some great places. It could, it could lead you to places where, where, where you thought you would never be. Like, like, where I'm at, you know what I mean? In my life, I never thought I'd be Fetty Wap. But being loyal to the right people and, and making sure I don't, I don't disrespect their character and they don't disrespect my character, they always make sure I'm all right. Being loyal to, being loyal to the wrong people, you will see the downfall. It, it'll bring you down. Your name gets slandered. And, and it's you never, what there's no explanation. There's no, they no. never give you an explanation. They can't even tell you why. They just say, oh, he, I don't, he ain't this or he ain't that. No, no, they just bad people. But listen, and they fuck. And, 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 you know, let me tell you something. Loyalty could be the gift and the curse. 
I'm a very loyal person. I even had an album named Loyal, Loyalty. You know, I've looked out. You're talking to the wrong guy. I used to walk around with 30 guys. Everybody had the same truck. Everybody had the same chains on. We flying private everywhere. We in the Four Seasons everywhere. Like, shit you can't even make up, bro. Like, I looked up. I done paid so many funerals, so many bails, so many lawyers, so many of this. I was loyal to a guy. Let me explain something to you. Let me get you. You, you want to feel a little bit better? Oh, Fetty Wap. Let me give you a, <laughs> let me relieve some of the pressure off of you. I was loyal to a guy that I thought was my brother. When he got locked up, he got locked up for two bodies. Uh, I stuck up a supermarket and pawned my jury to pay his lawyer, private lawyer, right? The man gets 20 years in jail, he copped out. I go visit this man for 16 years in jail. 16 years, Fat Joe, biggest rapper, pulling up on tour buses and snowstorms and this and this and that. He finally comes home. I buy him a new truck. He got a Hummer truck, apartment furnished, shit paid for, this, this, that. The man go bad on me, man. The man go bad on me. That's why, man. The man go bad on me. And I mean, I can't really break it down to the people to where I could not believe this shit. It's the biggest betrayal you ever see in your fucking life, right? The man come, I'm going to tell you some shit. The man, he get busy, right? Obviously, he went to jail for two murders, right? So when I tell him I ain't fucking with him no more because he doing too much and I can't be next to him or whatever, he shows up one day, Fetty Wap. I'm on Hot 97 Morning Show. He's standing across the street, spaced out. I walk across the street, right? So now the man looking at the floor, right? So I call him by his name because this was my best friend. I went to jail 30, 16 years, took care of his mother, his kids. I said, bro, look me in my face, man. And he looking away. Now let me tell you something. When people are about to do something and, and they know they're wrong, they won't look you in your face, Betty Watt. So the only thing I had on him was saying, look me in my face, though. Just look me. If you're going to do something, look me in my face, bro. Look me in my eyes, man. Do it like that. Look me in my eyes, man. Mm -hmm. Because I knew what he came there to do was fucked up. It's all the way fucked up. It's all the way fucked up. It's 8 in the morning. This man come to mention. He did, you know what he came to do? Yeah, I follow you. Could be the ones next to you who's most jealous of you. I said, look at me. And when he looked at me, thank God, he had a conscience that said, damn. Like, am I going to do this to Joey? Like, man, we went through so much. This man took care of my mother. He went to visit me. And then at that one moment, he just walked away. We never said nothing or whatever. I knew what he came to do. I seen the face before. Not from just, I know the face. So my only strategy was, yo, my man, look at me, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to do it, do it. Like, yeah. if you're going to do it, don't do it a coward way. Look me in my fucking eyes, bro. And the man looked me in the eyes, and he's a piece of shit, but he would have been a super piece of shit if he would have did that. You understand? And so sometimes... We're loyal to a fault. And people play that against us. Bro. They know we loyal. You know, these guys are loyal. This guy's loyal. He could just, you know, when I squash my people, I don't want to throw his name in there, but when I squash my people 50 Cent, he told me, you know what my strategy against you was? I was like, what? He's like, you too loyal. Hmm. Every time I try to play with you or talk about this, I knew you was going to jump out the window. So imagine you thinking you the realest person because you're loyal and somebody can actually use that against you. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. 
That's I good, mean, hey, bro. Bob, let me tell you something. This has been the realest interview yet thus far on the big, 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 big show. I'm praying for you. Much um, love, bro. I'm hoping you make it through everything you will, but you know, unscathed and uh, you're a great person. And I just want you to know that anything going on now will pass, bro. And you're always going to be set. You'll never be a bum. You'll never be a bum. You'll never be broke. Never on earth. You will never be broke. You'll never be a bum. God already blessed you with the blessing. You're going to always be able to get a bag. But you got to stay focused and keep the shit from around you. From love now love, on. Love, 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 it is love. what it is, all right? Word up. Stay up, my brother. Yo, God appreciate bless you, you man. Crack me already. No, Peace, bro. my brother. Ladies and...